In Onshape, you can reorient imported geometry using the transform command. Here I am in a folder in my Onshape. Let me go to the create button and I'm going to create a brand new document. I'm going to create a differential transmission because I want to explore different gear relations that you have in assemblies. I will click create. And I'm starting off in my part studio. Let me go to the plus button and then I will choose the import command. And in this folder, here is the step file that I want to use. By the way, as I'm making these different videos on relations, I will put the different step files on the Dropbox in my website. If you go to creowindchill.com and then in the Dropbox under CAD models and on shape, I will post the different step files. Let me choose the open button and I'm going to import it to this document. I'm going to create a composite part. I know that this step file has a bunch of little pieces. Everything else looks good. So I will choose the import button and the upload is in progress. Now I see the tab has been added to the bottom of my screen. Let me click over to that particular tab. And a lot of times the orientation does not matter, but this is going to be the first component in my assembly and I want it oriented, oriented correctly so that when I make a drawing, it has the right front view. So the first thing I notice is that this part is upside down relative to the different planes that start off in my part studio. So let me go to the transform command. It is available here in the ribbon. I will click on it and then for the entities to transform, I'm just going to pick the composite part out of the tree. And then we have a bunch of different options here. And so you can translate by line, by distance, by X, Y, Z, by make connectors. You can also rotate it, copy and place and scale. In this particular situation, I want to rotate the model. So then for my axis, well, I don't have an axis in this particular situation. So it might actually be helpful if I create a sketch to start off with. I will click on the cancel button. Then let me go into creating a sketch and then I will click on the plane called front. Let me switch over to construction mode and I will sketch in a line and let it snap over here and I'm just going to make it horizontal some distance. I will hit the escape key and now hit the check mark. Let's go back to the transform command and I will choose my differential housing as the object. Let's use the drop down list once again to rotate and then for rotating I can pick the sketch that I just created and by default it is choosing 30 degrees. We can either drag in the graphics area or we can punch in the value that we want. So I will use 180 then I will hit the check mark. So the first transform is good but I want the opening of the geometry to face the plane called front so I need to do one more transform. Let's go to the transform command and once again I will choose to rotate and I'll pick the part from the parts list and then for the axis for rotating well this time I can actually just Oh, let me click in the little collector. I can actually pick one of the cylindrical surfaces that I want. Again, it defaults to 30 degrees. Here is the arrow if you want to drag it numerically in the graphics area. But I went way too far. Let me just punch in a value of 90 for that one. Oh, nope. I want it facing the plane called front. Let's try 270. Hit the enter key. There we go. That preview looks good. So I will hit the check mark. And now that I've got it oriented the way that I want, hey, let's put it in the assembly. I will go to the assembly tab and now I will click on the insert button. And here we are in part studios and here is the differential housing. Let me select it and you can see the preview on the screen as we're bringing it in. I will click in order to drop it in the model. And then for getting it oriented properly, well, let me hit the check mark to finish out of there. I'm going to put in a fasten make because again, I, I want this right lined up with the model where I want it to be. Let me select that make connector and then let me select the origin and it moves over. I will hit the check mark and there we have the part 
imported into the model. When I brought in, it brought in the sketch. I actually don't need this sketch, so I'm just going to right click on it and then choose the delete button. And there we have our transformed imported geometry in our assembly.